My name is Richard Chung. I'm a MedPeds physician. I'm director of adolescent medicine at Duke University in Durham, North Carolina. So I got into adolescent medicine uh, during residency. Uh, I sort of figured that I was uh, very interested in preventive care. I liked both children and adults and really liked that intersection between the two fields. And uh, my mentor, Terry Bravender at the time, uh, was a role model for me in sort of demonstrating what the field was and what it could look like from a career perspective. And once I figured out that I was really committed to the adolescent young adult age range, uh, sort of the rest was history. Uh, as part of that, I found Sam. Uh, I became a member uh, early in my fellowship in Boston. And so I've been a member now about seven or eight years at this point. And I have to say, you know, I think becoming a part of SAM and, and coming to the meeting and, and participating in other SAM activities was really uh, foundational, I think, and really sort of grounding my identity as an adolescent health provider and really launching my career in different ways. Um, you know, Terry was kind of the first adolescent medicine provider that I got to know well. Uh, but then coming to SAM, you really get kind of a full array of different adolescent health specialists and, and really a full spectrum of understanding different angles of coming at adolescent health issues and caring for teenagers. And, and I think when you come to SAM, you sort of see this really great group, a large number of people coming from really all around the world, and they're all committed to this singular goal of helping teenagers. And I think, you know, when you're a resident or you're a fellow or even in early career, you can often feel pretty isolated. You can often feel pretty alone, especially if you're, as I have been for a long time, kind of the main uh, sort of lone wolf, I guess, uh, in a particular institution or a particular area um, and so coming to SAM and having that type of camaraderie I think has been really really crucial. Um, it's also an encouragement to kind of see what everybody else is doing and to see the innovative and uh, really hard-working ways in which they're approaching the problems that we're trying to tackle and so that's really why I've stuck with SAM all these years you know I think there are many organizations that I'm a part of and different meetings that I go to but SAM to me is really the perfect blend of both the academic and clinical focus but also really the personal uh, and relational um, kind of vitality that you need in your career. And so, um, yeah, that's why I keep coming back.